Hello, my name is Yudel Salis from Harmony School Discovery, and I'm here to talk to you about how to create your own soccer ball. First, I would like to thank my teacher, Ms. Reese, for helping me for my English portion of this project. I had to write a journal entry for each task, and I had to show and write uh, about how I did it. I would also want to thank Mr. Pachika for my source study session, which I wrote about the history about the soccer ball. I wrote about how it started from in the BC in China and it made it all its way to modern times. The first step. The inner bladder of the soccer ball came in from either natural or synthetic rubber that is generally heated and forced into a mold. And then the outer panels are produced from sheets of synthetic leather backed with several layers of cloth to strengthen the material. Next, we must cut our cloth into pentagons and hexagons. Using Euler's formula, we know that we have to use hexagons and pentagons to make our shapes for the ball. If we use any shapes with less corners, they will leave corners out and will not cover it properly. If we use shapes with more corners, it will leave it with too many corners popping out. So this is using trigonometry. If we try to use it with other shapes, this is the result. No corners or too many. Afterwards. Afterwards, we must use the carving that we just made to cover the bladder of the ball. As we see in the picture, it's going to be covered and finished off. After we've covered it, it will be flat and will help us for our next step. Our final step. For our final step, we must blow up the ball and make it fill it in with air. After we fill it in with air, we must close it and we can enjoy playing soccer.